Hey, Shalom family, once again, we have to understand the, uh, the fullness of the gospel. We have to understand and begin to comprehend the fullness of the gospel, you know, because um, if you remain in the foreshadow, if you remain under what they call the works of the law, you'll find yourself becoming alienated from the Messiah and from his grace and from his mercy and from his love that he has and shown towards you because you want to be justified through the works of the law and it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Now, I just want to speak about the tassels, the fringes, right? Because people still feel justified because they have on little tassels. They have on little fringes on the four corner of their garments, right? They have like a Pharisee mentality. See, uh, back in the day of old, when we first came out of Egypt, the father was telling us that we ought to uh, wear fringes or garment, uh, fringes or tassels to remind us of his commandments, to remind us to believe in him, to remind us to fear him, to remind us to obey him. Not only did we have to, you know, simplify uh, tassels or fringes on our garments, but we also had to write it on our doorposts and write it on our gates. I don't see nobody talking about that. Right? But what you have to understand is this, that the tassels of the little fringes never saved us. Remind you this, that we, when we came out of Egypt, all of our forefathers, all of our ancestors uh, had, on had on tassels on their garments, had on fringes on their garment with the blue ribbon but yet only Joshua and Caleb made it into the promised land it didn't save us <laughs> it was carnal it didn't save you see the tassels was just the foreshadow of you soon re receiving the power that come from the Holy Spirit that's why the Messiah said he shall sing the spirit of truth and a spirit of truth shall remind you of all truth he shall lead you in all truth you'll receive the anointed and the anointed will teach you all things it will remind you of all things. It'll be your teacher. You have to understand that, family. Even though when you read the book of Numbers, uh, chapter 15, I believe it's 38 to 41, when it said throughout your generation, that was true. But you have to understand, we broke that covenant. Now, the Father said, I want to make a new covenant with them, not like the covenant that I made with their forefathers when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. But this time, I'm going to write my law I'm going to baptize my spirit inside of them to help lead and guide them into all truth. And I will forgive their sin and remember their iniquity no more. Now in the new covenant, you shall receive the power that comes from the spirit. And the spirit is your teacher. You don't have to look down on no strings. Or no, uh, uh, you won't have to look down on no uh, fringes to remind you not to lust, not to lie, not to steal, not to hate, not to murder. Because you will soon receive the spirit through faith. And the spirit of truth will now become your reminder. Come from under the foreshadow. Come from under the law. Repent and receive the power that comes from the Holy Spirit. Because it is the spirit job to quicken you. It is the spirit job to lead you. It is the spirit job to guide you. It is the spirit job to teach you all truth. Receive the power that comes from the spirit. And you can only receive the spirit of the Messiah by believing in the manifestation of the Messiah. Shalom.